legendary warriors. The powers that created us now want us all extinguished. We must join forces, or else forever be their slaves. For today, in the name of freedom, we take the battle to them. Let's roll. Here in moments. The ultimate gala spectacle. Holy mother of God on earth and in heaven at the exact same time. You want a piece of me? You got it! Good morning, everybody. It's yours truly, Dan Adams, a.k.a. the Soulful Conservative, a.k.a. the DA, the Prosecutor, and all the things that I have been named over the years by my fellow war radio <laughs> personalities. But um, it is Thursday, Thirsty Thursday, and I am headed to work right now via... The Political Heat Remote Studios, aka my car, and um, we got hit with a good, good, good amount of snow throughout the night. I'm thinking about five to eight inches. So yours truly is taking it easy, easy, easy to make sure I arrive at the the nine to five safely. Want to go ahead and get right into it in regards to the first topic of this morning edition of the Dan Adams Show, and. It's a continuation of the left's assault on Trump's cabinet nominees. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk on a couple of them, but in particular, Jeff Sessions. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, finally, after maniacal theatrics from the left, the Democrats and the the liberals and the Democrat Party. Jeff Sessions was confirmed last night as the next attorney general never should have taken this long but it did and what a disgrace what a shameful display that was put on in regards to elizabeth warren and the rest of the democrats in particular elizabeth warren i don't know who in the heck does she think she is number one secondly How dare she read a letter from Coretta Scott King, decades old, in the 80s letter that has nothing to do with the attorney general confirmation of today, but yet she takes out one little snippet in regards to, at the time, Coretta Scott King, let me say that again, Coretta Scott King's non-approval at the time of Jeff Sessions being a federal judge. But no one wants to talk about the award and the basically, you know, my bad on that letter I I, I wrote in regards to you not being uh, fit to be a federal judge, Coretta Scott King giving an award to Jeff Sessions for his work, his civil rights work. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's how the the Democrats do. They pick one thing, they run with it, and the display of this utter disregard for procedures in the Senate from Elizabeth Warren and the rest of the Democrats, but in particular, Elizabeth Warren, shameful, disgusting, it stunk. So you had to bring out my inner Jim Moore. But, ladies and gentlemen, really? Now, Betsy DeVos, a lot of people out there had issues with Betsy DeVos. And when she got confirmed yesterday, or the day before, Lord have mercy, here in Pittsburgh, here in Pittsburgh, students came out of the woodwork to go down to Pat Toomey's office, our Republican senator here, senator here in Pennsylvania, his downtown office, to protest. And I'm thinking to myself, these kids don't have a clue what they're protesting they don't even know what's going on and 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 in particular that is her nomination 
and final confirmation is not going to affect them at all in regards to how they go about their normal school life. Hopefully, with this particular education secretary, it's going to be their benefit to have her as education secretary because she's going to put things in place that's going to improve their overall schooling, their overall schooling in regards to atmosphere, uh, hopefully uh, the education that they receive, hopefully the indoctrination that has been happening for years now will hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully will either be tempered or maybe possibly eliminated. And I'll, that, that's a big stretch. I know that. But I'm hoping and I'm praying that something to that effect happens. And we all know why the Democrats are in a tizzy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, someone on Fox News' website wrote a wonderful article in regards to how the Democrat Party has lost their soul. And they talked about the Betsy Voss nomination and, and confirmation and how these Democrats are in the pocket. They are in the in the <laughs> under the sheets, if you want to call it, in regards to the teacher unions. The teacher unions were was running that whole sham of this. Oh, we can't have this woman because she is really not, you know, part of the educational system like we are and she is not down with teachers unions like we are and she loves charter schools and we don't so ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a bumpy ride these next few weeks in regards to finalizing the confirmations of donald j trump's cabinet and next up the bat i believe is the epa <laughs> which should be eliminated and wow, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of his name right now. The uh, senator from Utah, I believe. <laughs> wow, name is escaping. I know his name's first name's Mike, but you know who I'm talking about. The senator from Utah put uh, legislation out to, to eradicate the Department of Education. So I think it's kind of ironic that we're having all this come ups and 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 sideshow in regards to the nomination and confirmation of Betsy DeVos and Mike Lee, thank you, Woo! just came to my head. Senator Mike Lee from Utah just proposed some legislation to eradicate the Department of Education entirely. Now, I don't know where you stand on that. I'm not even completely know where I stand on it. I mean, there's got to be some governmental oversight, but not into the, uh, I guess, you don't want to make sure, you, you do want to make sure, excuse me, that the Department of Education does not, does not put their, I guess, governmental overreach hands in places that it, that it doesn't need to be. I, I am totally in support of that. But as far as totally eradicating it, let me know, hit me up. I'm on social media, at Dan Adams Show. On Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Gab. And, oh, speaking of Gab. <laughs> speaking of Gab. And this person just blew through this stop sign here. As you can Wow. This blew through. He's going to blow through this one up here. This is what happens when yours truly, Dan Adams, a.k.a. the Soulful Conservative, does his shows via remote political heat studios, a.k.a. my car. But, man, he just blew through that stop sign. Unbelievable. But, anywho, get back to the topic at hand in regards to Gab. Found out last night that Gab's Twitter account was suspended. Really? Really, Twitter? Really? So, you see some competition that's gaining exposure, gaining popularity, and gaining users. So, you're just going to just totally take that person out of the equation because you feel threatened that's a petty ass schoolyard punk move so i'm not surprised ladies and gentlemen i'm not surprised that twitter did that because they've been sus suspending accounts like baked alaska's account for no other par apparent reason because he 
we know what he does. Milo's right hand man. We, 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 they, they know what they do, but yet, and they don't, ladies and gentlemen, they don't cross the line to where someone's being threatened, like allowing ISIS and radical Islamic jihadist regimes free reign on your social network. But Milo insults a black woman and they su- <laughs> infinitely suspend his account. Really? Really? Is that how you roll Twitter? Wow. Unfriggin' believable. Now, as I stroll through the winter wonderland here, that is Turtle Creek, Pennsylvania, passing through as I head my head head on to the place of my employment. I am at a crossroads, ladies and gentlemen. Literally at a crossroads in regards to how to go forward in regards to these podcasts video and the like now i'm trying to get myself situated and i'll I'll have a decision after i return from cpac and for those who have seen my gofundme um i already got a donation of a hundred dollars from a particular woman that you'll see on the page once i update it today and i am so grateful that she she did not have to do that at all but i really appreciate it and basically i have a gofundme set up for 500 dollars to help me with expenses to get me to cpac hotel room is paid for my media credentials are set um just need basically money for gas tolls and, and transportation to get down there and back via a car so i'm gonna i've been posting it on my various groups and i will continue today but if you go to my political heat page Facebook.com slash The Political Heat. I have the GoFundMe link pinned at the top of my page. So just go to Facebook.com forward slash The Political Heat and you'll see the GoFundMe link pinned at the top of the page. Um, now, as I said, I'm at a crossroads. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle it going forward. I know I need a really, really, really good camera if I'm going to go forward with that. So I may I may have to do another GoFundMe to to facilitate that because right now the funds in my personal life aren't where they're where I want them to be and and I got some things I need to take care of financially or I would not be reaching out to you ladies and gentlemen that's just not in my nature I always try and find a way to get things done monetarily but in this case I just need to make sure that oh this person's looking to turn oh yeah this guy's turning here so just. Um, keep me in your thoughts and prayers and maybe, maybe if you, if you can see it within your heart and soul and if you, if, if you can spare it monetarily, you know, help me in, in, in this endeavor and making sure that I bring you the best, best content via audio and video. But I just want to make sure that with the way I want to take things that it's done in the proper way. So just look out for posts on that in regards to that and like i said any help that comes on the horizon i greatly appreciate it now and this prayer you gotta love it ladies and gentlemen you know when you're driving and you have a situation where someone wants to get over but you're already in that lane and the person's just like wants to bogart you and you have nowhere else to go you have nowhere else to go and this person is trying to get in your lane ain't that something ladies and gentlemen ain't that something now Going forward. Uh-oh, this person's... I don't know what this person's doing. Okay. Now, get back to the topic at hand. Now I have a straight lane. I have a clear path to get through this madness here. And I guess I should have did, I I did, I did a Facebook Live so you can see this winter wonderland that I'm driving through. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to uh, the topic I want to talk about in regards to the GOP. Now, you know that I've been a staunch, staunch critic of the GOP. You know, I am not going to allow them to get away with anything that I feel that they have just dropped the ball on. But did you see Drudge? Yes, Matt Drudge come out of nowhere and call the GOP out. Yes. Basically saying they're they're frauds. They should be sued for, for fraud because they are not 
uh, I guess, adhering to the promises that they made on the campaign trail in regards to tax reform and repealing Obamacare. Wow. So it, it, it's got it takes. He must have been really pissed off that day to come out with a tweet, a personal tweet. You know, usually he's just tweeting stories that that are that are out and that are in the that are that are exposed to the to the to the world at the moment. This was a personal tweet. So you know he must have been pissed off. Now, like I said, you know I've been a staunch critic of the GOP. Their their spinelessness, I know that's not a word, but I'm saying it. Their just feckless behavior in regards to fighting for the principles that you and I that you and I go to bat and fight for every day they sometimes I don't even know if the R is next to their name it should just be either a half R or a full D <laughs> because that's how they and I'm saying I'm going to say they not all some not all well then the GOP never had the cojones never had the the wherewithal to fight 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 and that is all I'm asking I just want you to fight 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 now fight the good fight I'm not an idiot if there's something that you we, that, that we know ladies and gentlemen that we are not going to be able to either make a dent or possibly uh oh we got a couple cars that are just on the side of the road here i don't know why hope these people are okay they look like abandoned cars um this is this is how it is ladies and gentlemen i'm like i'm like the traffic weather and and news political guy here on the dan adams show on a thirsty thursday and what is today's date uh what is today's date february 9th man it's already February 9th of 2017. Where did January go, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go off on a tangent. But as I was saying in regards to the GOP, they're going to be in my headlights as always. But even more so now with the fact that we have majorities in Congress and a re- Republican president. Now, I know that the establishment GOP will not, ladies and gentlemen, will not be on board with everything that President Donald J. Trump wants to put through and wants to hopefully pass as far as legislation. I know this. We all know this. But my thing is this. If it is something that abides by our conservative principles, I'm telling you right now, if there is any any fight, and any, any blowback, and, and any type of resistance from the GOP, like I told... Elizabeth Warren on Twitter, like I've told, uh, what is his name from New Jersey, Cory Booker, basically saying, you know what, I'm going to be on you like white on rice, like black on black eyed peas, come to come 2018 and 2020. If I see any, any one within the GOP resisting Trump's agenda when it, when it dots every I and crosses every T in regards to our conservative principles. So, ladies and gentlemen, before I have to end this particular broadcast for today, I just want to make a note in regards to, one, thank you for listening. Listen, share, download, word of mouth, shout it from the mountaintops that yours truly will be bringing you at least one hour of day, one hour a day, excuse me, of the Dan Adams that you know. And secondly, go to my Facebook page, my political heat page, facebook.com forward slash the political heat. I have pinned at the top of my page my GoFundMe link to help assist yours truly. And it's only $500 that I need, but I'm just, I'm, you know, in need of it, ladies and gentlemen. If I, if you know me, if I, I I'm not a beggar. If, if something that needs to get done, I need to get done, I find a way. But financially, I'm in some some dire straits, if you want to call it. So whatever assistance you can throw my way, I really appreciate it. Go to Facebook.com 
forward slash the political heat facebook.com forward slash the political heat and by the time you hear this i'll have it up on my website the political heat.com all one word the political heat.com ladies and gentlemen as i close today's morning edition of the dan adams show you know how i do and you know how i end things may god continue to bless you and your families may he keep you and your family safe from any harm or danger and specifically you from any lunacy idiocy and maniacal behavior from the left and we need to pray for them too ladies and gentlemen we need to pray for these individuals as well because they are sinners just like us so until next time god bless you and yours peace Fox News Radio. I'm Dave Anthony. President Trump takes another swipe in a tweet, this time at a Democratic senator. He posted Richard Blumenthal, who never fought in Vietnam when he said for years he had, made your lie. Now Miseris represents what Judge Gorsuch told him, ending the tweet with a question mark. This is the day after Blumenthal met with the Supreme Court nominee. Fox's Rachel Sutherland live in Washington. Dave, Senator Blumenthal claims Judge Gorsuch told him he's disheartened by, quote, demoralizing and abhorrent comments made by President Trump about the judiciary. The Democrat also expressed his opinions about the president's comments about judges involved in the travel ban case. Has issued a series of blistering and bullying attacks on judges around the country. President Trump has invited a group of red state Democrats to have lunch at the White House today with Judge Gorsuch and the Vice President. Dave. Rachel Jeff Sessions will be sworn in as Attorney General this morning. I can't express how appreciative I am. Only one Democrat backed Sessions in his confirmation. None may support Congressman Tom Price for Health and Human Services. His Senate vote could come in very early tomorrow morning. It is snowy and sleety across the Northeast. The roads are pretty slick. There's a couple accidents out there. And it'll only get worse, affecting a lot of travel. Fox's Tanya J. Powers live outside in New York City. Midday flights into and out of airports from Philadelphia to Boston are affected. About 2,800 flight cancellations so far. That'll have a ripple effect on the rest of the country. Now, schools have also canceled classes today for many parts of the Northeast, even here in New York City. Big, fluffy snowflakes are coming down on me right now, and they're coming down pretty quickly, too. The difference in the uh, amount of snow over the last hour, quite a bit. This storm could dump a, a foot of snow before the day is over. They're taking it pretty seriously, Dave. Tanya, CIA Director Mike Pompeo. Pompeo's arrived in Turkey for talks on the fight against ISIS in Iraq and Syria. Fox News Radio, fair and balanced. As CIA Director Pompeo is in Turkey, there are news reports coming out of that country that say police detained four Islamic terror suspects said to be planning a sensational attack. Palestinians claim Israelis have gone on the attack as Israel is forced to protect itself on the Egyptian border. Fox's Jessica Gallagher is live in Jerusalem. Dave, Israel's military denying involvement in an airstrike that killed two residents of Gaza in a smuggling tunnel along Gaza's border with Egypt. According to a spokesman for the Palestinian Health Ministry, the pre-dawn strike wounded five others. Israel last targeted smuggling tunnels during the 2014 war with Gaza. Meanwhile, Israel's military says it has intercepted several rockets fired from Egypt into southern Israel. The military here hit several Hamas targets earlier this week in response to mortar fire from Gaza. Dave. Jessica, the New York Department of Health is now investigating the death of a patient in a waiting room at a hospital ER in Ithaca last month. He was brought to the emergency room after he was found asleep at a convenience store lying on the floor. He was alert when he was checked in and not considered in distress, but two hours later, they found him dead. Another man found asleep is lucky to be alive. He was napping in a dumpster in Tampa, Florida, when a garbage truck came by. It wasn't until the driver unloaded other dumpsters that he heard the man's screams for help. District Fire Chief Mark Bogish says the guy is lucky the driver heard him. probably saved his life. Bogish says that they had to bring in a crane to lower firefighters down into the garbage truck for the very delicate rescue. They had to remove a lot of the debris off of him, and then, of course, they had to stabilize him into the Stokes basket. Bogish says that the man was then rushed to the hospital, suffering crushed and broken bones. Luckily, he's expected to make a full recovery. Gary Baumgarten, Fox News. On Wall Street, stock futures are up modestly before today's trading. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. Radio. 
Adopt US Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? How could he do this to you? And for Sheila, she, she has split ends. B, console her. Oh, sweetie, this is going to happen a lot. Four, maybe five more times before you get married. C, take charge. Got to get this all straightened out. Keep a little talking to, man to man, mano a mano. Hey, Steve. Is now a good time? No? Okay, no problem. Bye. Or D, help her find a new boyfriend. I know a great place to meet boys. The internet. Nice, single boys. Never mind. How about some ice cream? As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit adoptuskids.org. A public service announcement from the US Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids and the Ad Council. The strip from the rainbow where freckles do connect, collect much respect. The dialect changes as my rhymes intersect. I flow like a river, skills I deliver. You nasty like liver, I'm bona fide to give a masterpiece that lasts for weeks. It lingers on to reach the highest of the peaks. Defeats I never witnessed, so flip this, I rip this as the underground kicks this. Get a job and slob, turn the doorknob to the light. My mind takes flight to another realm of a gift. The MC who has the equal right to show his versatility, always thinking true to the jazz, never so low. So get a feel for my lingo. This is my breakthrough, it's long overdue. Come see what I do, it's all brand new. This is my breakthrough, it's long overdue. Come see what I do. It's all brand new. Reach the crossroads, my beat is beating on your earlobes. There's loads of weak lyricists trying to set the new codes. I don't pay attention because the herbs are on detention. My science universal, that I forget to mention. Verbal, assassin, legit rhyme writer. Searching through the woods so I could take out the sniper. Relax, frame my thought, huh? It don't matter. I'm always trying to defend myself from the chatter. Your walk is obsolete and scripted in the wood. I'm good, can't you tell? Fell off, but never fell. Getting the job done like the big Daddy King, but I'm the big daddy Won the battle for the rain So quick to change your mind, cause your flow was unrefined Time like an hourglass of rhymes Full of trash, blast from the cannon And straight to place to go So get a feel for my lingo This is my Breakthrough It's long overdue Come see what I do It's all Brand new This is my breakthrough it's long overdue. Come see what I do. It's all brand new. I exist to parallel myself to the greats. The greats that I dig in, different from the norm. I swarm. I'm strong. I last long. Could cheat my rap song. I get a thumbs up when it sums up. Average, you better get the nominator. I blow up the spot when you reach the equator. I paid all my dues straight forward. You benefit from verbal spit. Your ass walks awkward. Split to bring the jazz to the forefront. The proper architect is building long lasting intellect. Medium rare, I swear. Never overheated, never feel remorse. The course has been defeated. I treated MCs for the whackology. My vibeology spawns the rap spree. Let's flee into the jungle. Let's get ready to rumble and flow and get a feel for my lingo. This is my breakthrough. It's long overdue. Come see what I do. It's all brand new. This is my breakthrough. It's long overdue. Come see what I do. It's all brand new. This is my breakthrough. It's long.